guys, welcome back to another colorful keto with Dory. Today, we are getting together to do our week two update for keto accountability challenge. If you want to participate, use hashtag keto accountability on Instagram. You can also share your posts in my group, Colorful Keto Lifestyle, and as well on my public page, Colorful Keto with Dory. If you are following along, make sure you tag all of the participants so that we know you are staying accountable with us. So for me, week two, yesterday was Thanksgiving in Canada, and we kind of do a two-day celebration. I made Thanksgiving dinner on Sunday and on Monday. Did I keep it keto? Yes, I did, 100%. We did turkey, I did a spaghetti squash with olive oil and butter, and I did a baked green beans with bacon and rendered bacon fat. It was amazing. It was so good. There weren't any leftovers except for the turkey. So on Monday, I made a really cool stuffing bowl and scrambled eggs and turkey, and we had a fun turkey brunch. So I'm curious how you guys have been managing. When we talked about what our goals for October were, we didn't discuss weight, mostly because I don't really focus on weight loss on my channel. I like to focus on healthy eating and let the weight happen by itself. But a few people did ask me what my start weight was and they wanted to talk about that so we can see if I have lost any weight. So at the beginning of October, when I weighed myself, I was 165.4. And today, when I weighed myself at the week two update, I was 162.4. So I'm down three pounds in two weeks. I think that's awesome. Um, I will, I'll weigh again probably at the end of the month. I don't really like to weigh every week, but I feel like once every two weeks isn't going to be harmful for me to step on the scale. So at the end of the month, I will give you guys a scale update. And then to our tip section. So for today's tip, I want to talk to you about how you manage at family functions because we just went through Thanksgiving in Canada and you guys have it coming up next month. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about making a keto version of what you want. If you're looking for pumpkin pie, if you're looking for a traditional sweet potato pie, if there's something that you have in your family and you don't know how to make a keto version of it, post it in the comments below and we can definitely figure it out. We don't have to eat off plan to have the foods that we love. We just need to get a little bit creative. My tip for getting back on track and staying keto throughout the holidays is find or create a keto version of the foods that you're craving. All our classic comfort foods we can have. We just need to make them. So stay in touch this week. Let me know how you're doing. Make sure you check all of the channels for their weekly update and their tips. And we will see you next Tuesday for our week three update, Keto Accountability. We're doing this. Like, we're halfway through the month already. Yay! We got this, ladies. We got this. Let's get our song back to dance out to. And have an amazing week. <laughs>